today on an all-new Dr. Phil. My goal is to be an Insta-famous. I'm hot. I really don't see any problems with myself. I love me. Everyone else should love me, too. The world needs me. I admit I've missed your spectacularness until now. You said you quit your job because working's not in. Yeah. Do you monetize your social media? Yeah. There's almost no way she makes enough money to live off oh 30,000 followers. I definitely don't. That's what mommy and daddy are for. Today's going to be a changing day in your life. You've never had anybody working harder to bring you to the threshold of change than right now. Okay, the guest today tagged me on Instagram, so let's see what they're doing. That's Christian with 199,000 followers. Hi everyone, so I'm currently getting my makeup done on the Dr. Phil Show. I'm about to get interviewed. It's extremely exciting for me, and I hope that you guys get to learn a lot. He's all excited about getting his makeup done to come on. We also have Ava here today, right? She tagged me as well. well let's see what she has to say for herself. Hey guys, I'm here on the Dr. Phil show about to be interviewed. They got me looking perfect, even more perfect than I usually look. Shocker, I didn't know that was even possible. Say hi. Okay, she's got 36,000 followers. Seems pretty proud of the way she turned out. Um, but we actually received a submission tape from her where she dropped all of this, I'm Miss Perfect image, everybody wants to be me, and says she's got a problem. And the problem is she's alienating all of her friends. So let's take a look at that submission tape. The past three years of my life, I've just been focused on getting hot. I'm not scared to say and do whatever I want, but it's caused so many problems in my personal life. I've lost so many friends. Girls at my college hate me because of what I post. They hate me because I post my body, because I say what I want to say, I do what I want to do. Everyone thinks I'm all these things I'm not because of my social media. And because of that, I lost all of my best friends. And it's really unfair. She's playing the victim here, but actually, Ava and Christian are both here for the same reason, and that is they say their image online is, they say, is costing them all their friends. But they're creating the image and then their friends don't like it because they're not being real. They say they're not being authentic. So both of them are losing all their friends. And all of these followers, these aren't real people. They don't know these people. They don't have a relationship with them. And they're saying, I'm feeling empty. I don't know what to do. So we're going to talk to them today. Well, I'm going to finish getting ready. So uh, take a look at this tape. This is the Ava that her friends are so annoyed with. Shallow, one-dimensional definitely a taker my goal is to be a skinny legend and insta famous i'm funny i'm hot i have money i have a nice body when you're instagram famous you're actually famous right now i have almost 40,000 followers which is kind of bothering me i need at least 40 million followers but we'll get there one day i was bullied growing up until my senior year of high school the teasing was immense. As soon as I decided to get hot, I started really getting um, a pickup on the follower count, and uh, that's kind of when it all came together. <sighs> Look at me now, bitches. I'm hot. I'm on Dr. Phil. You're not on Dr. Phil. You're all sitting at home probably eating. Before, I was 200 pounds. I had short brown hair, pale, chubby. I would say I was probably like a three out of 10, and no one wants to be a three. I ate diet pills like Tic Tacs, and I don't regret it. I mean, I'd rather die hot than live ugly, so if this is gonna take 10 years off my life, I don't care. I don't wanna be old anyway. Old people are ugly. I still have to get some calories in, because you know, gotta keep the ass fat for the boys out there. I love having a fatty. Big booties matter more than small booties. You have a tiny booty. I don't even wanna see you. Each month, I spend about $20,000 on hair, makeup, clothes, shoes, accessories, anything to make me more perfect. I don't really go to class when I'm in college. When I do go, it's only so I can put on an outfit of at least $6,000 worth and walk in and have everyone stare at me and feel bad about themselves. This dress is Alexander Wang. These sunglasses are Fendi to match my Fendi boots. The more labels, the better, because I like shoving it in poor bitches' faces that I've got the double Fs and they're probably wearing Forever 21. My haters are losers and they're ugly. Haters are my motivators. A lot of my haters just want my attention and I'm not gonna give it to them. They can keep following me, they can give me all the attention they want, good or bad, I don't care. 
I want to be famous for being famous. I have no talent. I went from being 200 pounds and a loser that everyone hated to someone everyone wants to be, whether they want to admit it or not. Look at me now. I'm on television. Not yet, you're not. <laughs> um, I'm really curious about whether she's interested in talking about something real or just here to be exhibitionistic. Uh, if it's just to get more attention, this is going to be a really short conversation. Um, and I may blur her face even for that. Uh, I don't know. I've got a few tough questions for her, but before we meet her, I, I want to hear from a couple of her real friends. Hey, let's, let's look at this piece of tape we made. Ava is obsessed with social media. Ava has become very conceited. We call it clout chaser. Ava likes to DM celebrities on Instagram, like all of their pictures until they notice her. Guys will offer her money or to take her shopping, but in return, they want to have sex with her. If you don't become Instagram famous, what are you gonna do? There's plenty of rich men out there. She was heavier in high school, and a lot of people bullied her for it. Ava's top motive for all of this is definitely getting revenge. When she's famous, she can't wait to shove it in everyone's faces, but I think she's taking it to an extreme. Ava did something called No Eat November. She literally did not eat a single solid food for an entire month. You did work really hard to get your image today, but you barely ate. If that killed me, cool, whatever happens. And it honestly was one of the best things I ever did. I lost like 10 pounds. Is definitely dangerous. The person you knew that was insecure and sad and fat and unhappy turned into this beautiful, hot, skinny legend butterfly who wants to just go the world up. I'm worried that Ava's gonna end up endangering herself, and I don't want her to get hurt. Overall, need like a massive reality check. Okay, hi. Hi. How are you? Fantastic. How are you, Phil? Well, I'm okay. Um, would you say? that you're one of those people that has a need to be loved by strangers? Um, yeah, I mean, there's really no reason not to love me, so I love being loved. I'm awesome. So what's awesome about you? Um, I'm hot and I'm funny. I'm a skinny legend. Skinny legend? I'm a skinny legend. <laughs> what is a skinny legend? A skinny legend is someone who is hot and skinny. Okay, why do you want to be famous? Um, I want to be famous not because the world deserves me, because it doesn't, but the world needs me. They need my face out there. I, I admit that I've, I've, I've missed your spectacularness until now. That's really uh, unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Yeah. That's really unfortunate. Yeah. I'm so, watching the stage right now, people. You're welcome. No, I'm playing catch up. What, tell me the contributions you've made that distinguish you from other people. Well, I feel like with my Instagram, I have influenced like a lot of people to be hotter. I've made all my friends lose weight and like be better looking. If you are so special, why do you need to wear, you say, six thousand dollar outfit? If you're so special, why? Awesome. No, hold on, let me finish. Look at these shoes. No, no, let me finish. Do you have these shoes? No. Uh, no, I don't what have those. Shoes? What kind? I have, what are my shoes? Yeah, I have no shoe? idea. I couldn't tell you they're black. <laughs> um, but how much they cost? I couldn't tell you. Oh, mine were thousand dollars. Okay. I could go stomp some bitches' heads out with these, and they'd be blessed. Okay, let me ask some. If you're so special, why do you need all of the props? Why do you need the I six thousand dollar outfit? I don't need them. I just want them. They make me better than everyone else. The what? sweater you're talking about, you could put on a St. Bernard. That doesn't make the St. Bernard special. <laughs> it would make that St. Bernard hot as <laughs> Okay, and first off, do not disrespect my platform by dropping <laughs> I'm from Jersey, girl. I'm from Jersey. Okay. Yeah. I'm from Jersey. Okay. That's how we do it in Jersey. Well, you're going to be back on a bus to Jersey if you do that. All right, all right. I'm all serious. All right, I got you, Phil. I got okay, you. I'm like, I have been ugly and I have been hot, and I choose hot every single time. Old people are ugly. Yeah, no offense. How is that not offensive? 
because I said no offense. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's gonna fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Your directness yeah. is getting out of hand. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I've heard. It's so embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is too much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 Central. Coming January 21st. The Samuels are looking to uh, the D word, divorce, separate, something did, like did that. Did they say divorce or separate? What? We just had a whole show prep with our producer, and no one told me we were going to bring us up live on the air today. She says that her and her husband are trying to fix their marriage and denying any divorce rumors. All marriages go through stuff. Does that mean we separate or getting divorced? Absolutely not. Love and Marriage DC. New episodes, Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other <laughs> name I don't remember? Starting Friday, you gotta get with it or get lost. Ready to Love returns with new episodes, followed by the new series, All the Single Ladies. You ladies have decided? I am a prize. Friday at 8, 7 Central, part of Real Drama Weekends on Home. This is Mary Ann's first time visiting Paris. Madame, où allez-vous? Uh... Before Mary Ann packed her bags, before she attempted her first sentence in French, before she completed her first 15-minute lesson, yes. she downloaded Babbel. Babbel helped unlock her lifelong dream of learning French. She started speaking in just three weeks. So when it came time to tell the cab driver to take her to the Hotel Pierre... J'aimerais aller à l'Hotel Pierre. Oh, c'est très bien. J'espère que votre voyage est bien passé. 150 language experts and educators designed Babbel to be the most efficient and effective way to learn a new language. Babbel focuses on natural conversation. You'll remember what you learn, and you can speak and pronounce with confidence. Start speaking a new language in three weeks. Try it for free at Babbel.com. It's the end of the day, and you're tired. We understand. Move it! We're taking over. Adult Swim must have watch TV. Weeknights, starting at 8 p.m. We'll keep you company while you do the things you hate. Egypt and Mike are back to business. Winning. Balancing project bids. Offer accepted. And busy kids. Here we go. This team tackles it all. You can do that. I can do anything. Yeah. Married to Real Estate premieres Thursday at 9 on HGTV. He fooled everybody. Please don't let him have hurt somebody. What did you do first? Your mother. Why? Because I want her here. Evil lives here. All new season. Sunday, January 22nd at 9. Followed by Signs of a Psychopath. All new season on ID. So when you were growing up, you wore glasses, you were overweight, and you were teased a lot. Oh, my God, I was so ugly. Okay, so yeah. this is a revenge mission for you. Honestly, I wouldn't say it's revenge. I mean, you could say it's revenge. I did. But why, why do you say it's revenge? Because you said it's revenge. You okay, said, I'm well, getting back at these people. I'm going to shove it in their face. I go in there. I, wear, I show up at class just uh, to show here. them. Here's what I'm wearing. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I guess you could say it's revenge, but I feel like it's just more making them all feel worse about themselves. Like, sure, they made me feel that way, and now I'm making them feel that way. That's revenge. Oh, yikes. What would you say if I told you that this whole time I've been blurring your face? Oh, my God, I would be so mad. The world needs to see my face. I'm not blurring your face yet. Mm -hmm. I might if you behave like an idiot. <laughs> um, but, and you said you wanted to lose weight to get guys. I mean, I wouldn't say I wanted to lose weight to get guys. I mean, yeah, sure. The reason I lost weight originally was to get the attention of a boy, and then he ended up being gay. So, um, I know. But so then um, I decided that now I just wanted to be skinny for my Instagram because I like taking pictures of myself. Like, I like being skinny and pretty. Also, like, when you're skinny and pretty, like, you get so much more in life. Like, I have been ugly and I have been hot, and I choose hot every single time. Like, I would rather die hot than live ugly at this point. So 
old people are ugly. Yeah, no offense. You just said old people are ugly. I'm an old people. How is that not offensive? Because I said no offense. After oh, OK. <laughs> that makes it all right. Um, you said you were rejected from even the loser group in high school. Yeah, but then that just gave me a lot of time to self-reflect and market my own brand. Like, I became Ava Louise with a d two eyes, not one eye. I became this magical creature that I am today. So honestly, I'm happy I got rejected for so many years. Okay, if, if I meet you out in the world, whether I'm a guy or a girl. You're gonna be starstruck and be like, oh my God, who is she? This, oh, I would try to get over it, but. <laughs> you say that, you say that. But let's say I met you out in the world uh -huh. and I, I was looking for a friend. What do you have to offer? I am actually a really nice person, but I feel like what I have to offer more than friendship than anything is advice for how to be better. Like, I have made all my friends better. I feel like they really appreciate me for it. So what's your philosophy about being a friend? I mean, I like, mostly I like having girls because, like, I never really want to go to the club alone. That kind of sucks. Oh, so your philosophy about having a friend is, is someone you can use to like be a social the... lubricant in a club for you. Yes. I mean, it's more not just a club, just in life. When you have a group of baddies just out in the world, like, you can pretty much get anything you want. Men are really shallow and dumb. Like, I have finessed men. I've gotten so much stuff out of them. I have some random music producer sending me roses all the time. I've never met him. Like, on New Year's, I, like, made out with this ugly guy to get <clears> backstage <throat> at Post Malone. That was really cool. And then we finessed our way into the club VIP at Post Table. Wow. I know. <laughs> I am the finesse queen out here. Well, so your philosophy of friends is how you can use them to get where you want to be. Yes. And I feel like they use me just as much as I use them. You see, I have a different philosophy. My philosophy is I like for them to feel better about themselves after hanging around with me than they did before they hung around with me. Well, my friends do feel better about themselves. Um, what, do you th what do you think about that philosophy? I feel like after my friends hang out with me, they definitely feel better about themselves because they make them hotter. That's basically what you just said. So you make your friends hotter too, Dr. Phil. You can't be that dumb. Okay, this is what I'm gonna say about that. I am a dumb bitch, but I no, ain't you're not. stupid. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not. Part of this is an act because you think it'll get you attention. And part of attention. it is you're just desperate. But I'm asking you to get real for a minute. I am real. No, 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 no. You're just play acting. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna give you a chance to get real. Uh, Ava has put herself in unsafe situations for attention. We're gonna talk about that for a minute, and then I'm gonna ask her some questions that I don't think she has a phrase for when we come back. And we'll see if she has the courage to answer those questions. And if not, Spooky. we're done. <laughs> I love showing up to class knowing all the bitches who didn't want me in the sororities and all the boys who didn't want me at their parties can stare at me and see me in my beautiful, hot $10,000 outfits. What's the point of wearing something fluffy and fuzzy if it's not real fur? Like, I want them to kill the animal, skin it, and put it on my back. And it better be an expensive animal so I look better than everyone else. They only hate me because they ain't me. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's gonna fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Their directness is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I've heard. It's so embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is so much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 central. People going to talk in D.C. Yeah. Coming. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Welcome. We're going to be out on our own little island. It's called Peace. I'm going to go before I whip your ass. Her sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then own them. Because I don't like that again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 central. Over 100 million Americans have low or no credit. Self is a new way to build credit, no credit score required. 
Self customers who make on time payments see a 30 point bump in their credit score on average. Download the app today. With Acorns, every time you spend, you invest. Buying a hot dog? That's investing. Getting gas? That's investing. Getting treats? That's investing. Start investing with just your spare change. I've decided to go to rehab. I'm still here, bitches. We got a big surprise. Gay just want to be a big brother. Thousand Pound Sisters, season premiere, January 17th at 9 on TLC. I think it's my time to find love. I, I want to date younger men. I'm as sexual as I was in my teens. Turn it up. Where's all the men at? Here we go. It just got real. Turn it up now. Johan and I are supposed to get married tomorrow, and I'm feeling really uneasy. Yo no sé qué es tu intención. Si tú tienes tu duda, no te case. 90 Day Fiance, Love in Paradise, tonight at 8 on TLC. Egypt and Mike are back to business. Winning. Balancing project bids. Offer accepted. And busy kids. Here we go. This team tackles it all. You can do that. I can do anything. Yeah. Married to Real Estate premieres Thursday at 9 on HGTV. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other <laughs> name I don't remember? I love alcohol. I can down an entire bottle and I mean, I might die, but fingers crossed. So far I've been invincible. I love going to the club. I usually get into every single club. I mean, I'm not 21 yet, but that's never been a problem for me. I just love to get especially with like my friends. We have a good time. Ava does party a lot. She goes out and they finish bottles of alcohol in a night. Ava blacks out a lot. Blacking out and peeing on your Louboutins is never good. I'm gonna have to buy a new pair. Well, 20 year old Ava has some hard partying ways and a devil may care attitude, but her friends Haley and Maria are worried that between those things and Ava's disdain for college, she's gonna be left with no future if her dream of insta-fame doesn't work out. Um, and it doesn't seem to be working out. But right? it is working out. Well, you how many followers Almost do you have? Almost 40,000. After two years? Yeah, that's not bad. Like when you put something up on Instagram, how many people look at it? Well, I usually get like at least like 26,000. And that changes your life. Yeah, oh my God. Usually they have like things that calculate how many likes you get throughout the year, but I've definitely gotten a lot. It's like up there. 100,000 maybe? Probably, yeah. And so these are views that you had. Yeah. Views I've had way more. Like just today, like I had like 60, like almost 67,000 people like this week looking at my profile. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I have a YouTube channel and, and last year I had 2 billion views and it didn't change my life. <laughs> oh, that's my butt. <laughs> How does it change your life? Um, I don't know, because then people get to see my face and it makes their day better. So it makes me feel better like I'm doing something good for the community, you know? Very, I feel very philanthropic, is that the word? Charitable? Mm, I don't think that's the word you're looking for. <laughs> I think ex exhibitionistic is the word you're looking for. Whatever that means. That means show off. When you're popping on social media, like you get all kinds of stuff. Like I get free laxative teas. I just got free sunglasses in the mail the other day. So I'm I got, really like, getting screwed because like yeah. I said, I had two billion views and I didn't get Did a single laxative tea. You're getting you're screwed. <laughs> Um, okay, so w let's bring your friends up. Uh, you're still friends, I assume, no, at least a little aren't. bit. Y'all yeah. come up, please. Hey, ladies. Mmm, Bounty's up here. So you guys are concerned about her because you care about her, right? Yeah. So, Haley, what's your concern? I'm just worried that you've, you've changed a lot from high school. Yeah, she I got used to way be hotter. pretty, like, shy. But now uh -huh. she's just way too open, uh, way too shallow. 
Mm -hmm. Doesn't care about anyone else anymore. Well, what are your concerns about her? Um, I'm worried that like if Ava doesn't change soon enough, she's gonna take this to a whole new extreme. And I don't even know what that would entail, but it's definitely not anything good. Yeah. And you guys say she drinks to the point of blacking out. All the time. On a daily basis, almost. I would not say daily basis. I'd say weekends, like Thursdays through Sundays. Wednesdays. Whenever it is we drink, you say, I want to black out every time we start She drinking. says she wants to black out. Yeah, she's like, let's black out. Yeah. Well, you know, 97,000 girls a year, I'm talking young, uh, between 18 and 24, report alcohol-related sexual assault or date rape every single year. I've been in that situation, and it honestly hurt, but I make sure I don't get in those situations anymore. Mm -hmm. So smart. you've been there. What are you running from so bad that you've got all of this image, all of this blah, 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 I'm wonderful, I'm, you know, because me thinks you protest too much. I mean, maybe I'm just running from my ugly self, my old self, but I don't think I need to run anymore, Dr. Phil. I think I'm where I need to be. What have you given back in the last year? I have volunteered before. I have, a long time ago. <laughs> Look, I'd like to add someone else to this conversation. My next guest has an even wider social media following than Ava. Uh, like five times, but oh, it's left me. him with even more problems. Uh, we'll add him to this conversation when we come back. I have right now 199,000 followers. Every time I look at my following count, it gives me extreme anxiety to see it going down. I have now gone through so many different personalities to get people to like me. Every move I make since I was little, I've thought about how it's going to play out social media. Everything I do relies on what people think. Closed captioning provided by... Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's going to fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Your directness yeah. is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well... If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I heard. It's so embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is so much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 central. Coming January 21st. The Samuels are looking to, uh, the D word, divorce, separate, something did, like did that. Did they say divorce or separate? What? We just had a whole show prep with our producer, and no one told me we was going to bring us up live on the air today. She says that her and her husband are trying to fix their marriage of denying any divorce rumors. All marriages go through stuff. Does that mean we're separated or getting divorced? Absolutely not. Love and Marriage DC. New episodes, Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 central. Welcome to Who's Talking. We have two things in common, and I bet you don't know either one of them. Do I get a hint? I don't think I chose the universe. I think the universe chose me. Who's talking to Chris Wallace? Sunday nights at 7 on CNN. Starting Friday, you gotta get with it or get lost. Ready to Love returns with new episodes, followed by the new series, All the Single Ladies. You ladies have decided? I am a prize. Friday at 8, 7 central. Part of Real Drama Weekends on OWN. I think it's my time to find love. I want to date younger men. I'm as sexual as I was in my teens. Turn it up. Where's all the men at? Here we go. It just got real. Turn it up now. He fooled everybody. Please don't let him have hurt somebody. What did you do first? A mother. Why? Because I wanted her to hear. Evil Lives Here, all new season, Sunday, January 22nd at 9, followed by Signs of a Psychopath, all new season on ID. Johan and I are supposed to get married tomorrow, and I'm feeling really uneasy. Yo no sé qué es tu intención. Si tú tienes tu duda, no te case. 90 Day Fiancé, Love in Paradise, tonight at 8 on TLC. Egypt and Mike are back to business. Winning. Balancing project bids. Offer accepted. And busy kids. Here we go. This team tackles it all. You can do that. I can do anything. Yeah. Married to Real Estate premieres Thursday at 9 on HGTV. They dominate renovations. Timber! Now twin titans clash for real estate supremacy yeah! with one rule. There are none. Legacies are on the line. Game on. 
Brother vs. Brother premieres Wednesday at 9 on HGTV. Something about the Playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it. It's a ticket to the highlight. Not can you prepare you for that. The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. It's the end of the day and you're tired. We understand. Move it! We're taking over. Adult Swim, must have watch TV. Weeknights, starting at 8 p.m. We'll keep you company while you do the things you hate. My next guest, Christian, wrote to me saying that his whole life has revolved around gaining social media stardom, but as the likes, followers, and subscribers came rolling in, so did the haters. Take a look. I live for social media for my followers to make sure that they're happy. I've been on Instagram for seven years. I have right now 199,000 followers. Every move I make since I was little, I've thought about how it's gonna play out social media. I post like one or two stories a day. I script some of my videos so they're outlined. Everything I do relies on what people think. I noticed recently that I tend to switch personalities based on trends. If they're vegan, I'm vegan. If they're a feminist, I'm a feminist. Working was in, so I got a job at Hollister. Working wasn't in, so I quit, because why should I work? Whatever they believe in, whatever they do, is who I am. I'm very much into, like, brand names, designer bags, expensive items, nice cars, nice houses, traveling. If I'm wearing, like, this bag, I believe retails for, like, $6,800. I don't actually know. I didn't look at the price. I have spent about a million or two million dollars on my wardrobe. I have completely lost my identity through social media to the point where I have now gone through so many different personalities to get people to like me, but it's been very strenuous on me. I don't at all know who I am. I've been mean to some people or nice to some. I'm basically left with an entire following that doesn't like me because I'm constantly switching who I am. I feel right now that no one likes me at all. Every time I look at my following count, it gives me extreme anxiety to see it going down. I'll be losing followers on Instagram to the point where like, it's like, why am I even trying to keep going if no one likes what I'm doing? I've basically constructed a social media prison, my own personal hell, my own personal prison. How are you? Good. Move down, please, and let Kristen sit right here. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm getting booted to like... Yes, you are. Oh, whatever. Um, so you don't feel like you have any identity other than social media? I've completely like, completely lost my identity outside social media. I mean, I've been on it so long that it's like, how do you know who you are when you're constantly trying to appeal to the masses and change who you are to make yourself liked? I've been on it since I was like 12. So it's like, I didn't grow up like a normal kid. I grew up trying to make people like me. You've been listening to Ava talk. What do you think about what she's saying? I used to be exactly like that. And it took me falling, dropping like hundreds of thousands of followers a month to realize that like that's not okay. You think you've become a trend follower? Of course, I've completely become a trend follower. Like, so you said you quit your job because working's not in. Yeah, all of my friends were working so I quit because I was making at least enough on social media to like live, but like so I quit So you monetize no your was. social media? Of course, yeah. D do you monetize your social media? What, make money? Yeah. yeah. I looked at her Instagram and there's almost no way she makes enough money to live off oh 30,000 followers. Oh my God, I definitely don't. That's what mommy and daddy are for. What would you do if you just unplugged for six months and you had no social media presence? Oh my God, I'd die. I would actually love it. When is the last time you truly felt authentic? When I lived in New York, so last year. And what were you doing? I was working in fashion. I'm really into fashion. Like, that's something I've always loved my whole life. I was a handbag reseller for Hermes and Chanel. And so that's how I was able to really buy myself everything because I was making a pretty good living off of it. And I was actually, like, authentically, like, traveling or doing things I wanted to do and you not showing a, it. You were a what? A handbag reseller. Reseller? Yeah. I didn't even I know that was a thing. It's like, say, like, the Hermes Birkin. I have a few of those, but those are, like, bags that, like, not many people can get. You have to be invited to buy them. They're, right. like, ten or 20000 from the store, but I could resell that for, like, fifty. 
Uh, I didn't know there was a thing. It's I a learned very something every day. Small niche. Yeah. Not many people know about it. Yeah. Well. Okay. So I'm not completely out of touch. No. Uh, when was the last time you really felt n nothing to do with Instagram? You really felt like you knew who you were and had an identity. Maybe it was when I was a kid and I was riding horses. Like mm -hmm. then I had like a place in the world that wasn't Instagram related. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is ridiculous. These are haters that are just, for no reason, they just decide to send you these messages. I get around per photo like 1,000 to 2,000 comments, and on average, 80% of that is things like that. I really get to the point where I want to quit, and I don't want to do it anymore just because it's hard on me. But at the same time, I don't know what else to do. Well, there is someone who really is Insta-famous, but for the right reasons. She's a good friend of mine. We're going to talk to her next. Closed captioning provided by... Let the chips fall where they may. Tension is going to fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Your directness yeah. is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I've heard. It's so embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is too much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 central. People going to talk in D.C. Yeah. Coming. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome. We're going to be out on our own little island. It's called Peace. I'm going to go before I whip your ass. The sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all of them. Because I don't talk again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. Does your bank invest for you? I bet it doesn't. Acorns checking does. It's banking for the growth minded. Acorns, grow your own. So far I've raised my credit score 39 points. 127 points. Over 100 points using self. I would recommend self to everyone. It feels really good. You should try it. <laughs> It's my time to find love. I want to date younger men. I'm as sexual as I was in my teens. Where's all the men at? Here we go. It just got real. Turn it up now. He fooled everybody. Please don't let him have hurt somebody. Who did you do first? My mother. Why? Because I wanted her to hear. Evil lives here. All new season. Sunday, January 22nd at 9. Followed by signs of a psychopath. All new season on ID. Johan and I are supposed to get married tomorrow, and I'm feeling really uneasy. Yo no sé qué es tu intención. Si tú tienes tu duda, no te case. 90 Day Fiancé, Love in Paradise, tonight at 8 on TLC. <laughs> I've decided to go to rehab. I'm still here, bitches. We got a big surprise. Gage is going to be a big brother. <laughs> Thousand Pound Sisters, season premiere, January 17th at 9 on TLC. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other <laughs> name I don't remember? Because of my transformation, I have lost some of the closest people in my life. All of my rider dies. I think it has a lot to do with jealousy. I don't think I'm the problem. I think that they were riding off of my star power from the time we were children. They were using me, and it got to a point where when my attention got negative at times, they couldn't handle it. You have a problem with me? Say it to my face and let's fight about it. This is who I am. Deal with it, or else off. Uh, I reached out to a friend of mine, a huge social media influencer uh, by the name of Amanda Cerny. 
Now, she does lots of funny skits and has more than 24 million followers. Uh, here's one of the little skits that she does. Hello, you must be uh, Amanda, you work here? Mm-hmm, yep, for the past this year. This isn't gonna be weird, is it? <laughs> Why would it be weird? Because you're my ex-girlfriend. No, it is strictly professional, and that's in the past, so. How many times a week do you work out? Two. You look good. I think you, drop, you dropped your shirt a little bit there. Oops. Currently sexually active? <gasps> Amanda. No, Christian. I'm not having this conversation okay, well, with you. It's on the sheet, so we have to- I don't have to have this conversation with you. Okay, well, no, I, don't I have... need to know. We need to know. The doctor needs closure. Yes. <laughs> Joining us on Skype is actress and social media star Amanda Cerny. Amanda, how are you? Good. How are you? Well, I don't <laughs> want you being a nurse for me, I can tell you for sure. Mm, no, I'm not very good at it. Uh, you've been listening to these guys. What, what do you think about these guys? No, I, it's kind of, it, it's a little bit sad to hear, you know, the mindset that, and especially not to target you, Ava, but like, just listening to you, I have just so many comments on top of that. For social media in general, it's like, it's a 1D version of who you are. That version that you're putting out is all it's doing is making people feel not good about themselves. Like you're saying you're helping your friends out. It's not making them feel good about themselves. There's nothing wrong with feeling sexy, but when you're putting other people down at the same time, that's the absolute worst thing that you can do. And you shouldn't have a platform at all. And you put out content on a regular basis, right? This is a job that you work at. It's, this is full-time, seven-day-a-week serious job for you, right? Yeah, I've been doing it since 2012. And I've been putting content out every single day since I started. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of work. I'm, I'm editing, I'm directing, I'm writing. I'm coming up with different concepts every single day and that simultaneously working on my career in traditional film and TV as well. What you're doing is putting other people down. You're saying, I go to but class I'm because not, I want okay. people to feel bad about who they are but I don't say it's comparison them. They to me. They feel bad when they're looking at me. That's well, still but not the whole okay. point is you're putting people down. That's not at, at all okay. To make I mean, people feel bad. I've been through that. I've called people peasants. I went through the whole rich phase. I don't call them peasants, phase. Phase. I went It doesn't matter. Talking about them behind their back is just as bad. Mm -hmm. Don't be a hardhead. You're here talking to somebody that's got 24 million followers that says her message was, is positive. Like, I'm willing to listen. I didn't even know she. You don't seem was. willing to listen. Yeah, you wouldn't you, be interrupting. You, you don't have to know. You don't have to know who I am. Like it, that doesn't hurt me in any way. If people unfollow me, it doesn't hurt me in any way. It, like might hurt my business down the line, but and me as a person and me being happy, like it's not going to affect my happiness because I have real friends in real life that I can go back to and talk to and who care about me and I care about them. And that's what true happiness is, is your real life outside of social media. And if you don't have that, there's, there's no way for you to be truly happy just by sitting on your phone and just staring at Instagram all day. You have a great boyfriend, a great relationship, and that little video that she put up and had, what, over 12 million views in the first couple of days that you put it up, right? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has your yeah. boyfriend ever stolen food from a homeless person? Because mine did. Uh, okay, we're going to really... take a break. Where do I see Ava and Kristen headed if they don't make a change? I'll be back with them and Amanda right after the break. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension is going to fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Your directness yeah. is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I've heard. It's so embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is so much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 Central. Starting Friday. You gotta get with it or get lost. Ready to Love returns with new episodes, followed by the new series, All the Single Ladies. You ladies have decided? I am a prize. Friday at 8, 7 Central. Part of Real Drama Weekends on OWN. It's the end of the day, and you're tired. 
We understand. Move it! We're taking over. Adult Swim. Must have watch TV. Weeknights, starting at 8 p.m. We'll keep you company while you do the things you hate. Something about the Playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it. It's a ticket to the highlight. Love, can you prepare you for that? The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. People gonna talk in DC. Yeah. Yeah, They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Welcome. We'll be out on our own little island. It's called Peace. I'm gonna go before I whip your ass. The sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Didn't own them. Because I'm gonna again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. Let the chips fall where they may. There are some things that I've heard. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only gonna get worse. I ain't gonna do this with everybody. This is too much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 Central. I think it's my time to find love. I wanna date younger men. I'm as sexual as I was in my teens. Where's all the men at? Here we go. It just got real. Turn it up now. Egypt and Mike are back to business. Winning. Balancing project bids. Offer accepted. And busy kids. Here we go. This team tackles it all. You can do that. I can do anything. Yeah. Married to Real Estate premieres Thursday at 9 on HGTV. Johan and I are supposed to get married tomorrow, and I'm feeling really uneasy. Yo no sé qué es tu intención. Si tú tienes tu duda, no te case. 90 Day Fiance, Love in Paradise, tonight at 8 on TLC. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other name I don't remember? Amanda, a question for you first. You actually help people learn how to develop social businesses and profiles, right? Yeah, I work with a lot of brands and help them build the brand profiles and marketing strategies for social media. Oh, how do people find you for that? Uh, through my agency or my manager. There are people that have businesses that want to build their digital footprint, and I I'm going to put links up so people know how to get in touch with you and how to find that because you do it positive, you do it right, and she's telling both of you a very important strategic information for doing that. Are you hearing what she's saying, Ava? Does it I make mean, any sense to you? I mean, that makes sense, yeah. I've known Amanda since the day I started. Not like known, but like, I watched her on Vine when I started on Vine. So I'm actually listening because I care. I started the same year she did. She's obviously 24 million followers, and I'm losing 100,000 followers every two or three months because I'm following trends. Christian, by the way, like, I love your outlook on things now. You seem to have a, a great perspective. Anytime in LA, I do skits all the time, and I would love, like, you could definitely collab with me and be in one back in. If you, if you enjoy doing them, like, I'm down for you to be in one. That'd but awesome. um, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Ava, I think, I, you know, I think I would love to follow you if you had, if you were actually showing who you really are. I, I feel like you have such a wall up and you're just following this trend of being, you know, kind of like a, sorry, but bratty girl and just talking down on other people. Like, that's no fun to follow. And usually when people are following that, they're doing it to laugh at it because it's like it can't be real that can't be you you have emotions you have to have compassion you're a human being how many of you if you were going to follow somebody out of interest just by applause how many of you would follow christian okay. by applause how many of you would follow ava I okay by old. applause how many of you would have fought, would follow amanda cerny Okay, I think that's a pretty...
pretty good straw poll. Amanda, thank you so much for joining us today and thanks for your input. Maybe she'll watch this a few times, listen to it and find some uh, wisdom in it. But I know you're on the road. Thanks for joining us anyway. I appreciate it. Coming up, a woman who won't let her age stop her from dating a man 20 years younger. But is the age gap too much for him? We'll meet them both next. Closed captioning provided by... He fooled everybody. Please don't let him have hurt somebody. What did you do first? My mother. Why? Because I wanted her to hear. Evil lives here. All new season. Sunday, January 22nd at 9. Followed by Signs of a Psychopath. All new season on ID. Welcome to Who's Talking. We have two things in common, and I bet you don't know either one of them. Do I get a hint? I don't think I chose the universe. I think the universe chose me. Who's Talking to Chris Wallace. Sunday nights at 7 on CNN. Starting Friday. You gotta get with it or get lost. Ready to Love returns with new episodes, followed by the new series, All the Single Ladies. You ladies have decided? I am a prize. Friday at 8, 7 central. Part of Real Drama Weekends on OWN. All these young, untimely deaths. For your kid, fame can be poisonous. He shared with me something. Oh, I hesitate to even say it. Price of Glee, three-part limited series. Next Monday at 9 on ID. They dominate renovations. Timber! Now twin titans clash for real estate supremacy. Yeah! With one rule. There are none. Legacies are on the line. Game on. Brother versus Brother premieres Wednesday at 9 on HGTV. This is our chance. Keep her alive. Say who you can say. No one's gonna find us, right? Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Run! There's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. Something about the Playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it. It's a ticket to the highlight. Love can we prepare you for The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. It's the end of the day and you're tired. We understand. Move it! We're taking over. Adult Swim, must have watch TV. Weeknights, starting at 8 p.m. We'll keep you company while you do the things you hate. People gonna talk in DC. Yo, we coming. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome. We're gonna be out on our own little island. It's called Peace. I'm gonna go before I whip your ass. The sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all of them. Again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's gonna fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Your directness is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I've heard. It's so embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only gonna get worse. I ain't gonna do this with everybody. This is so much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 Central. My next guest, Isabel, says now that her children are grown, she has more time to focus on herself, and that includes her love life. Now, she and her boyfriend, John, have been dating for 10 years, and John is 20 years younger. Now, Isabel says their age gap hasn't been an issue, but since she's turning 60 this year, she feels she's showing her age and wonders if John, well, she just wonders if he just might lose interest. Take a look. I work as a registered nurse. Hi, Jasmine. How are you today? I love taking care of people. I'm shy in my everyday life, but when I'm a nurse, I'm firm. Now I'm attending school to be a family nurse practitioner. Even though school and work is very stressful at times, I have John, who's the shining person in my life. When we first started dating, I knew he was much younger. I didn't care, because we liked each other. I want to stay young as long as possible. 
I know I'm reaching a big birthday, but I would like to look good for myself as well as for John. Some of the age-related issues that I'm having now is starting to reveal my true age. I'm bothered with the deep lines and wrinkles on my forehead. I've been using a skincare product for the last three months. I definitely have been seeing improvements. My family has said my skin has looked great. If I don't stop this aging process, I'm worried that one day John's gonna feel that I'm getting old or someone's going to say I look like his mother. I just want to keep the spark between us. Well, joining me are dermatologist and spokesperson for the beauty brand number seven, Dr. Sonia Batra, as well as Isabel. And on Polycom is her boyfriend, John. So welcome. Um, so Isabel, is a 20 year gap between you and John this hasn't been an issue before, so why are you suddenly worried about it? Well, Dr. Phil, when I met John, I was 49, and he was 29, and I wasn't showing any signs of aging. Right. So now that I'm approaching 60, and he, he'll be 40, I'm wondering if the age difference is going to be a problem. Are you concerned that your younger man is going to start looking for somebody closer to his age? Absolutely. Even though I feel like I'm 40, I have to face reality. He might look at a younger woman. Yeah. So, John, does Isabel have reason to be concerned? Not at all, Dr. Phil. Um, when I first met her, I always thought she was much closer to my own age. You think she has a really young spirit, right? Absolutely. Much younger spirit than I do. I'm the one that's in bed by 9 o'clock. You're the one conking out? I mean, here's the thing. He's telling you that he recognizes it's not just about the chronological age. And you've got 10 years together, and that means there's a solid foundation between the two of you that goes way beyond the age gap. And since signs of aging have become an issue for you, you mentioned using a new product for 12 weeks. How did it work for you? Dr. Phil, I have been using a new number seven skincare treatment, and my family and friends have noticed a huge difference. And my so daughter says, um, what have you done? I said, I just used number seven. Yeah. So, doctor, what is this product that she's talking about? Well, Dr. Phil, as women approach milestone ages like 60, it's natural to see changes on your face and to look for solutions that can help turn back the clock. So, Isabel has started to use the new number seven laboratory line correcting booster serum, which is a targeted anti-wrinkle treatment that delivers professional grade results. Can it really help you look younger? In fact, it's been clinically proven to help you look up to five years younger in 12 weeks. So let's take a look at Isabel three months ago before she started using the booster serum. So Isabel, you mentioned that your area of greatest concern before you used the product were the lines on your forehead, correct? Correct. So she applied the line correcting booster serum directly on those deep stubborn wrinkles morning and night. Correct. All right, well, let's see after you use it for 12 weeks. So after 12 weeks, as you can see, her face overall looks younger, and the lines on the forehead aren't nearly as visible. So this is really a game changer for people who want to diminish deep lines and wrinkles, who maybe aren't ready to try or aren't ready to afford injectables like filler. In fact, if people who tried this treatment and were thinking about fillers, 76% said they could now wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how are you feeling about the age gap with John now? Honestly, Dr. Phil, I feel like I've um, reversed time a bit, and I can honestly say I can look in the mirror and feel great. So, John, what do you think about Isabel's improved skin? Dr. Phil, I've always thought Isabel looked young, absolutely has turned back the clock, but if it makes her happier, it makes me happier. Yeah, so you're good as long as she's good, right? All right, good. Absolutely. So, where can people find this new product? This line correcting booster serum is available at Target and Target.com for under $42. But Isabel, number seven wants you to continue to improve your skin. So they're giving you a year's supply. Oh, thank right, you. There you go. <laughs> and audience, you are all going home with this new number seven booster serum. All right. I'd like to thank all my guests today and a special thanks to Dr. Sonia Batra and if you'd like to be part of our studio audience the tickets are free and all the information is on drphil.com or you can call 323-461-PHIL that's 323-461-7445.
And you know what else is free? And that's my new podcast called Fill in the Blanks. Each episode features an in-depth interview with entertainers, sports figures, and much more. Believe me, my guests open up and tell it all. They're saying some things I hadn't heard, and a lot of these are my friends. So join me on my podcast at Fill in the Blanks. We'll see you next time.